Uh, I'll just invite uh, Raymond and Chris Wong to come up uh, to share next. And they're our young adults <laughs> directors, also a young family with a young daughter. Emily. identify with your stage fright. <laughs> 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 Looks different up here. <laughs> um, well, um, I'd like to start our testimony by reading um, Psalm 37, 3 to 5. Um, Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. Um, when we make God the object of our delight, we will find that the desires of our heart, um, our innermost yearnings for God, will be fulfilled. Um, our family joined Life Church in twen um, 2012, late 2012, after we decided that we had to get our spiritual lives in order. Um, the messages really resonate deeply with me. My innermost thoughts to God um, were that I wanted fresh miracles in my life. Um, I wanted God to move like he did when I first gave my life to him, um, that I may be able to share of his work in my life um, with such deep convictions that people will be impacted for him. Um, but I guess along the way, um, you know, with the busyness of life, and um, you, you kind of get, or at least I got, um, you know, kind of caught up with life, and um, that freshness wasn't there. You know. There's always a, that desire to want more, but you know, the, the effort it's really, um, sorry. <laughs> Test? Ah. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's some error. technical error. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I was saying that, you know, being caught up in life and all that, and there's always that desire, but, you know, it's, um, we, we've been attending a church, um, and it, it just, never got us to that stage where, you know, we, we were, I guess, um, um, propelled, you know, to do something about our spiritual lives. But um, thankfully, God brought Emily into our lives. And, um, you know, as a result of Emily's birth, we, we said to ourselves that we had to get our act together because we didn't want Emily to, um, you know, not know God when she grew up. So um, it was more urgent and, and we started searching for um, for, for a church. Um, to cut a long story short, we you know, bump into Angela and James um, in one of the social gatherings that we had and you know, they invited us here and um, you know, the rest is history, I guess. Um, but God started um, you know, to work quite deeply in our lives um, the moment we stepped into Life Church. Um, um, specifically for me, it was with work and family finances. Um, work had always defined me, as some, some of you know, you know, the, um, you know who, who know me quite well. I, I love the recognition of being you know, good at what I do um, um, and being associated with great companies, you know, that sort of thing. So um, God had to really break me um, in, in that area. Um, and he, he really did in the last two companies that I worked for. Um, my ego, ego was really stripped down to the bones. Um, and, um, you know, in order to bring alignment, I guess, to um, his will. So, um, when I <coughs> spent time with God, he started convicting me of where, you know, I've tripped up in my own um, life. And um, he began to bring, um, you know, a calmness and confidence that could only be attributed to his working. Um, currently, I'm in between jobs and, um, you know, I no longer feel the need to justify why I'm at home. Um, I used to, um, you know, dread when people ask me, what are you doing at home? I, I'm, not, I'm not a typical housewife, you know, I, I just love working, I just love being defined by my work, you know, and I just can't imagine, um, I'm sorry, I, I don't mean in you know, an offensive way for those of you who, who are at home, right? I, I know that, um, you know, that role is really, um, you know, very um, fulfilling, but it's just not me, I'm not created that way, I just don't find the joy of, you know, staying at home. <laughs> so, but God had to really um, do that in my life, and, um, you know, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm happy to say at this point in my life, I, I um, don't feel that need to, um, you know, want to prove myself because the last few months God had really, really been, you know, working very, very deeply um, within me. Um, and um, also in looking back, um, in between the last um, job that I had, um, you know, when I had a break, I compromised in, in what I felt, um, you know, God was saying to us as a family. So we felt, we both felt very strongly that, um, you know, I, I should 
look for a part-time role. But um, you know, after a couple of months, you know, I got anxious and I I compromised. You know, I went back to working full time because I said it's not going to come. You know, there's no way there's going to be a part-time job. So and, and I don't want to be hanging around. So I went back into a full-time job. Um, but this time, um, you know, God really challenged me, I guess, through the testimonies of some people in church where, you know, God had provided um, to, you know, God asked me the question, do you dare trust me? You know, do you, um, have you, the important thing is, what do I hear from God and do I dare um, to step out in faith? So I turned down a number of, um, you know, um, into, I've, I've had agents call me and say, hey, there's another full-time job, you know, do you want to... You know, um, as much as I wanted to say, yeah, 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 I want to go, I had to, you know, really pause and say, um, no, I, I can't, you know, because I, um, I'm only um, wanting to just work the maximum of four days. So, um, and then when I hear testimonies of how God, um, you know, like you know, even the morning service today, how God um, came through for Esther and for Sinway and all, and I was like, God, God, I'm believing you for that, for that. And the, 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 but God kept reminding me, is that what? You know, I want for you. You know, um, have you ever asked me if that's what I I want for you? And you know, it's again back to the drawing board with me and God, and and just um, you know, really listening to what He wants of my life. So, um, yeah. But um, meanwhile, God gave me the opportunity to help with the preschool, um, and I'm able to put my expertise to good use um, in that area. Um, you know, helping with the recruitment of the director, you know, and putting some policies in place and all that, which I guess is something that I'm really like familiar with. You know, so something that I'm enjoying at the moment. Um, you know, which is really fantastic. Um, in the area of finance, I notice a big perspective change as well. Um, I'm one of those who can't live without. Um, huge margins in my life. You know, I usually live way below um, my means so that I don't have a worry about tomorrow. Um, you know, and I, I, I don't dip into my savings um, for whatever reason, you know. So um, when the preschool faith pledge um, was extended to the church, Ray and I um, both heard what God wanted us to give. And um, with the knowledge that I was in between jobs at the time um, and will be down to one income, we knew that the only way we could fulfill the pledge was to um, you know, take it out of our savings. But um, God enabled us both, um, especially for me, to obey him in that area. So, um, you know, and I'm really glad um, we did. Um, so at this point in time, I still have not seen, um, you know, in, in terms of job provision, but um, I'm confident and can say that I know God, um, you know, like uh, what um, Vicky shared in the morning, that God had already, um, you know, um, started the work. So it's, it's just a matter of, you know, being in his timing and in, in his will at the right time, right? And I look back and recall, I guess, the first few conversations I had with God when we first joined the church um, of one thing to experience. Um, my first love for God all over again um, and desiring to be able to trust him like I, like a child, you know, and um, see him move in my life um, so, so apparently um, and God has <laughs> God has so graciously given me um, the desires of my heart and, um, you know, I'm so thankful for, yeah, where we are now. Right. Um, okay. So, for um, you know, as Chris mentioned, we we joined Life Church um, in late 2012, um, and since then, you know, the journey, um, you know, our journey, my personal journey has been, wow. <laughs> I think a lot of the young adults probably know this. Um, you know, the the life changing experience that I went through, um, you know, last year in particular around the area of of um, you know, family and 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 work. You know, we, we went through, um, you know, as a family, we went through a, 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 a really a difficult time last year. Um, and to cut a long story short, but, you know, God, God really, um, you know, I, I was struggling. I mean, those of, those of you who, who go, into, you, you know, who listen to pastor's message on Sundays and, and go to Bible college, you know, you, you know, I, I struggle. I struggle with uh, with the with the idea that, you know, now, um, you know, I've been brought up all my life. Um, to put family first, you know, family is always first, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you know, family is always first. It holds really, 
a very strong and deep position in, 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 in me as, as a, a person, you know, as how I define, you know, I'm defined, you know, I, I'm very, very, very family oriented. To come to Bible college to, to get the message about, you know, uh, putting God first, I mean, You've heard a lot of messages in the past that you know God has always got to be first in your your life. You so you, you hear all this, you know, but then it never really translated down into, well, what does it actually mean for my life? So going through Bible college, it was it, it really challenged my core. It, it really did shake me up because I said I didn't know I don't know how to deal with this. I really don't know how to put God first in my family because how 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 can I do that with my time? I mean, most of my time it's like you know I go to work, I come back. Whatever spare time I have is with, with, with my family, with Chris, with Emily, and, and that's it. How am I going to find that time with God? How am I going to put, first God, uh, put, put God first in, 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 in all this? And then, um, you know, he took, I guess he took the, um, us both through, through the journey of, of, of um, our relationship where, you know, it, we, it got to a point where it was on really kind of, well, it was shaky ground. Um, we didn't talk to each other for a week. Um, we went through some stuff. So I really sought God and I really just laid it down before God. And God spoke to me that, um, you know, um, uh, just a very simple truth of, of, of how to put him first. Basically, he needs to be the foundation of our marriage. And, and that was it. I mean, it was, it was so simple. But then when I think more about it, it was so profound on so many levels. It's like, um, you know, I then understand you know, a lot of things that pastor shared um, on Sunday, like you know having God and you know being the only person, the only priority on our list, and everything else, um, you know it, it shouldn't be on that list. I, it resonated with me because I understood then that you know um, my capacity to love my family um, comes from God. You know, it's not from within. It's not on my own strength. You know, I I, I recognize that you know there and then um, that. Chris and Emily are, are, you know, God blessed me with them, you know, and, and in, the, in, the, in the, I guess, the principle of stewardship, you know, he's, he's um, you know, blessed me with them in, in, into my life. And, and, and I know now that, you know, with, with God being the foundation of the marriage, um, there's joy. I mean, yes, we still go through the day-to-day -day issues. I mean, who doesn't, right? We are still two different uh, individuals going through life. But then what has changed is, is, is that I, I now have joy. I mean, you all talk about, you know, this week's uh, life group, um, you know, the um, Pastor Edmund's book on joy. Um, this is what it is, you know, the, the joy knowing that, you know, um, this is what God has for me and this is what God has blessed me with. Um, and, and nothing can take that away. No, no circumstances in life can, can, you know, break that. And, and, and God has, you know, his, his hand on it. And you know that he's in control. So that was that was um, you know one of the biggest um, transformations for for me um, you know in terms of the family um, you know work wise similarly you know um, you know I'll share briefly as well like last year um, I, I was I was managing a project at work and and it was going like you know it was really bad you know it was client was bad you know everything was just bad you know except me right <laughs> so so um, but. I guess it, it brought me to a point where it, it, it got so bad that it, it, um, you know, it got such high visibility. You know, my, my CEO from, from the US, from the head, head office, um, knew about this project. Um, you know, a team was formed in, in, in US. I got to know their agenda. They were coming down. They were here to replace the entire uh, local team, you know, me included. I mean, I was managing the project. I'll be the first, uh, first hit to be chopped. Um, so I brought that before God. You know, I spoke to pastors, and, 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 and this is, you know, um, in going through Pastor Edmonds, this was last year when we were going through the Growing Deep, uh, Deep in God book um, about, you know, um, God-centeredness. So I started to apply that and, and see where God wanted me to, you know, because um, I, I, I strongly believe that this job that I have, God has blessed me with it. The, the, the way I got the job was, was you know, there's another story, but, you know, definitely God, God blessed. And I know that, you know, he has a purpose for me at this workplace. But to go through this thing, my career, my reputation, it was at stake. It was, it was, I didn't know where to go. So I turned to God and, and, and God just told me one simple thing, just serve them, you know, serve the people who are coming. You know, as despite everything, every grain in my body, knowing full well that, you know, their agenda, they're here. It's like, who wants to serve the enemy? I mean, they're coming here to replace me. I was like, what? Why it was like, I was like, okay, okay, humble, eat the humble pie. Okay, okay, okay. So I started serving. I mean, it was hard because I was traveling weekly and it had a strain on me, on, the, on, on, our, on our relationship as a family. I was going to Melbourne almost every week. Um, 
but you know god really you know i guess in 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 obedience um, to, to his word, God really just turned things around. It, it, again, like, as, uh, like Vicky shared this morning, you know, God has really orchestrated a lot of this stuff. We just need to step out in faith. And, and that's what I did. And then, um, you know, long story short, you know, the, the guy from the US, they came down, they hired someone in Melbourne, the guy didn't show up, so they were stuck with me, he worked with me. So he, you know, he had no choice, he started working with me and he goes, oh, actually, this guy's not too bad, the team here is not too bad. And then, you know, they, they got exposed and, then, and they, they finally realized that it, was, it wasn't the team, it was, you know, other stuff. Um, and the whole thing turned around. So I praise God for, for, for that, like for, for his faithfulness. Like, you know, it, at that point in time when I went through that, that difficult period, you know, it was so natural for me to just quit because I don't want to deal with this. I just want to quit. Um, but if I had done that back then, my reputation would have been at stake for sure. But because God saw me through that today, if I had left the company, it would totally different um, impression, totally different, you know, um, God has preserved um, who I am, my... my you know, um, position in the company and all. So, so praise God for that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank you for sharing. You know, throughout all of last year, they they started to lead the young adults life group together with us. And throughout this year, they've taken on board uh, fully themselves, and um, it's just been amazing. And I think God has even just used Christine in this period of in between jobs to be such a blessing. Um, it's She's been such a blessing to us and Pastor Paul in helping with the preschool with her human resource training. We couldn't have done uh, come this far without you. So thank you so much. God is really using you both. So thank you. Give them a big hand.